This trader lost £250,000. Here's how. So here's a trading story for you. We just heard recently um, about a trader um, back in 2019, actually. And so even though this story is from a few, just a few years ago, um, the lessons are still just as important um, today as they would have been just around that time. So the, the, the basis of this story is quite simple. This trader had a view, I've got the S&P 500 up here because I think it was the S&P or the Dow that was being traded, had a view that, uh, that he believed that the stock market was going to crash. Okay, So he thought it was going to crash and um, was you know, adamant that it was going to crash. Maybe it was after this short, sharp correction of just a couple of months into the end of 2018. So a lot of the time, you know, that can get people thinking, oh, it's going to go again, you know. And so there's nothing wrong with being wrong on your direction. There's nothing wrong with being wrong on, you know, with your analysis thinking it's going to crash or it's going to roll over further. If it, Even if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Being wrong doesn't matter on your analysis. Um, it's whether you are managing that, which is the most important thing. And this chap didn't manage it because what he did is he started shorting in 2019, adamant that the that the stock market was going to crash. And as you can see, throughout 2019, he was as prices continued going up. Guess what he was doing? Adding to his short position. No stop losses um, because he was so adamant that price was going to crash and uh, kept on adding all the way through um, and holding on to his position until he was minus 250,000 in you know underwater in his position. So obviously he had enough in his trading account to be minus 250,000. So I know that there's many traders out there who you know, don't even have that in their in their trading account anyway. So that, but anyway, that's beside the point. Um, it's still a big amount of money to anybody. And anyway, uh, so the story goes that in February of 2020, so if I zoom in a little bit now, he finally threw in the towel. You know, been underwater that whole time. Obviously, the pressure, the stress of being in a position all of that time underwater is going to be really high. And so he's finally thrown in the towel just a month before, or actually it was only a few weeks before COVID and, you know, and the big plunge that we had here. If now I'm not saying this was a good thing at all. Um, not at all. What he did was the wrong thing. But of course, you know, if he had a held on, he would have obviously made back all of that open loss and, and it would have turned to profit. Now, there's a couple of things to say about that. One is, well, would he have then held on um, and, and or would he have closed it and banked it? Because if he hadn't have banked it by the time, you know, that was the low. It all happened within the space of what, a month, didn't it? And then it came all the way back up. So if he hadn't have banked it, then it wouldn't have done, made any difference anyway. Um, and the point is, it was still the wrong way to trade. You know, you go and get into trades with no stop losses and just carry on adding. At some point, you're either going to blow up your account or take such heat like he had that he just threw in the towel and just closed all his positions in the end anyway. Now, of course, with him seeing what happened afterwards, um, would he have felt some form of, oh, I knew it was going to happen. But so what? The pressure, the fact that he's trading incorrectly meant that he ended up throwing in the towel anyway. And even if he had have held on and it had come down and it, it had made the bucks, so to speak, all that would have happened, it would have taught him a bad lesson and he would have carried on trading like that until the next time when he would have blown up. So it wouldn't have made any difference. Even if he had have made money in that instance, he would still ended up losing. So what's the point in trading like that if even if it works 
and you take a lot of heat and it comes back for you if at some point you're going to get in that monster trade where it doesn't come back for you and you end up blowing up anyway so the point is um the lesson today is um f for someone like that you know it's this desire this absolute need to be right and it's such a core i've talked about this a lot it's such it's such a hardwired emotion into us as human beings which is serves us well in normal life but it doesn't serve us well in trading we we need to accept that we're getting you know, just going to get cut out of positions and have stop losses otherwise you i hear stories like this all of the time there's nothing wrong with being stopped out and you can be stopped out all of the time but be managing it all and then have those a few, you know those few big winners that come in as well which pays for the losses that's what that's my philosophy that's, that's how i approach the markets i'm always getting stopped out and yet when the winners come along they more than pay for the losers so but this philosophy is not managed and it's a, a hiding to a a blowing up or, or crashing of of your account if you don't use stop losses so uh, if anyone out there is not using stop losses I urge you please do um, and the reason I keep going over these subjects is because we have the data we know what people do um, collectively that so many brokers clients don't use stops and ultimately if you don't use stops then at some point the market is just going to trend against you and against you and against you and is there going to be are you going to have the strength of will to cut that position manually at some point and if you do how much are you going to be underwater like this chap by that stage so that so generally speaking it doesn't matter about whatever your view is remove yourself from trying to be right about it and trying to be you know and holding on for dear life trying to wait for that market to go in your direction just get cut out of your trades you stop losses and in the long run that will serve you better answers on a postcard as always today have a lovely weekend i'll be seeing you next week